Slow. Slow. That was a little, <laughs> that was coming in a little yes, hot. Th yeah, that was a, <laughs> a little, a little hot. But now you got what, one foot, Chris. Ah. Uh, yep. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Today is actually the day we're gonna pick up our RV. For real this time. This is gonna be Chris's first time towing a fifth wheel, second time hitching up the fifth wheel, first time backing up the fifth wheel, and there's gonna be a lot more firsts today. Yeah, so I'm actually a little bit more grateful that it's the beginning of the day. My energy is fresh, I'm spry. It's not the end of a long day that was like mentally draining. So that's a good way to start any new situation. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. You're gonna kill it. Thank you. Let's go! So we don't have the 360 cam on this truck and once we put the tailgate down, we don't even have a backup camera. So this is kind of nice. We just discovered that if we keep the tailgate up for the most part, Chris can at least line it up. Until we hit a certain point. Yeah, but that's pretty good. It's a, it's a good method to get started in the right alignment. We're figuring things out. Yeah, I think that out. we are at a good point now to stop and do our first vision check. All right. Okay. Look who showed up to help us off on our first journey. Our good friends, Jeff and Deb. I have cheerleaders. Yes. It feels good to have a support team here because Jeff and Deb have uh, been towing a fifth wheel for many, many years. And they even had the super glide for Ooh. many years. So. All right, super glide, love it. Yes, so we yep. appreciate it. We'll, uh, we're gonna try to do this from memory, but if we need to call a coach, we'll call you guys call in. Call a friend right yes. here. Yeah. <laughs> Four feet, three feet, stop. Let's do a, a check here. Looks a, a little passenger to me, but what do you think? Well, see, now that's confusing language because I don't know what you're saying is passenger. You're a little far to the passenger side. See, I think that the... The pin is passenger. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we're, I thought you were, were talking about that. No, that's the, true. the pin, the lineup, we're too far passenger. Jeff, what's your expert opinion on that? Are we too far passenger? Oh, oh no, you guys can make that. <laughs> the beauty about the pull right there is that you can be off angle just a little bit. Yeah, it glides in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, one thing that's uh, very tight on ours is our tailgate yep. is very tight on here. So if we're too far angled, it's uh, we could hit. Yeah, the problem is with the tonneau cover, she can't see where her hitch is there, so yeah. I, we're trying to figure out where the alignment is on the headrest. Okay, four feet. Three yeah. feet. All right, stop for a second. Are we still looking good? Looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. And the way he told us was to have the top of the capture plate uh -huh. to hit about the center uh i think it was right around the hump he said or yeah. somewhere around Anywhere here so around there as long as you're uh yeah as long as it's touching there yeah there. yeah okay so i'll plug us in here quick i like to plug it in and then uh, she uses the brakes inside and holds the uh yeah there you go okay so we'll get a little bit closer just to check our height okay is your is your uh, hydraulics that loud? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. normal. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's All right. Stop right there. I think height wise she's okay. That's where yeah. we unhitch. So yeah, looking good. Does that look good to you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so lever open. Yeah. Right. That's all yeah. I need to yeah. do with that. Mm -hmm. Um, the cord. Make sure that's out of the way. Right. Yeah. You're looking good. And you told her to pinch the brakes. Yeah. You, that's why she's doing it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she'll pinch the brakes and that, that takes the stress off the leveling legs. Yeah. 
Okay, so nice and smooth, babe. Uh, two and three feet back. Two, and we're uh, gonna connect on this one, right? Yeah, we're gonna connect. Okay, so. Just come back till you hear it click. Yep. Well. Slow. Slow. Okay. But now, that was a little. <laughs> that was coming in a little hot. Th yeah, that was a, <laughs> a little, a little hot. But now you got what? One foot, Chris. One foot. Go tell you click now. Ah. Uh, yep. Wait, 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 wait. That, that was way too light. That was, that was a little light, babe. No, this is what I like here. This, this here key. That's, oh, hey. or did that go all the way up? Yeah, it's not in all the way. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so, but it's close. So once you feel that first, which you may not even feel the first pressure, then it, you got to do that nice smooth click into it. Uh huh. Um, okay. I have had. I heard some cheering, like we were in. Yeah, it was like a. I heard some emotions out there. Okay, I'm gonna pull forward. And be ready to stop just in case it's like partially engaged or something. Okay, that's a little bit forward. All right, stop. As you practice a little more there, um, what Deb was saying is that uh, if you raise the RV just a little bit more, yeah. it makes that connection. Uh, okay. I think we just stopped just a hair too short before yeah, it yeah, yeah. clicked in. Yeah. So now you're gonna go back that one foot, but we need the nice click. Yep. Little. Oh, that's the snap you want to hear. That's the snap. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I have the best crew support. <laughs> it was almost like a double click. It like was, it, yeah, it was yeah. the first like click and then a second click. Like a and then you verify by this little guy being clicked over there. Yep. So that, that there, and that's then you're secure. Yeah. That's what we saw was not on the first one. Yeah. And then the visual in the back, right? So see on the one oh, side, you got plenty of room. Look at all that room. It gets close on that side. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, what do you think about this safety? Should that go over here so it stays? I'm worried about that getting caught up in the turning radius. Yeah. Um, so should I go to see this hole over here? I put yeah. an eye bolt down here. I wonder if you could put it there because, um, yeah. See if. Oh, there you go. Is that gonna? Stay? Yeah. That'll stay yeah, out of there. Fine. Uh huh. Okay. And the beauty about that is, uh, what I, as opposed to the side, is that if this ever does come disconnected, it's yeah. a straight pull from your brake. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. it won't hang up. Yeah. Won't I got it. Yep. Yeah. That's a good call. I just yeah. Nick recommended maybe we get a shorter bungee cord so this is like out of the way. Do you guys do the tug test? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because did you used to? Uh. Yeah. 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 We used to, but. Uh, yeah. This thing, pull right, just been solid every time. Yeah. And uh, when that, you get used to this uh, latch, when that locks and that pin. Yeah. Uh, and you verify that, then, yeah. Tug test is important, and you see uh, trucks that uh, didn't latch. Okay, so. So this is auto, auto retract. <laughs> okay. And that'll bring up all six of them. Does it look shorter than yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really Yes, bye. Uh, Thank you so much for the help. Yeah. It was nice to have you here to talk us. <laughs> bye. bye. See ya. Okay, we're going to do a little practice now in the parking lot. Yeah. <gasps> All right, let's see. Lights are working. Lights, lights, lights. All right, that looks good. So we didn't do the tug test today. We decided to do a quick tug test. Okay. I don't know why. I'm slightly nervous. I think just kind of 
you know, I just want to make sure everything goes right. And uh, this is a big jump up in weight. This thing has a dry weight of 12,800 pounds. And our last travel trailer was just over 9,000 pounds fully loaded. So we got some extra pounds on. <laughs> See what I was talking about with this moonroof? Yeah. It's like right there. Okay, we got the fifth wheel. It's definitely right there. Yep, and then in the rear view mirror here, it's definitely yeah. right there. Yeah, but with the diesel, it's got so much torque that just you, you'd let off the brake and it just rolls forward. Yeah, like right now, it doesn't feel like I'm pulling anything. Yeah. So this is our first uh, action with the slider hitch. The automatic slider hitch, which is why we got it. So we don't worry about <laughs> that hitting the cab at all. How's it look? Great. I can't tell if it's slid or not, but it looks beautiful. How's it feel turning? Oh, that looks so different than the travel trailer. It just, it's just so foreign to us. And it looks pretty good. That gray tremor and the black and gray paradigm looks really good. So that's a 33 foot paradigm, the shortest Alliance paradigm. And we wanted to stay as short as possible because it's still a very big RV. 13 and a half feet tall three giant air conditioners on there. Can't wait to get the electrical system going. All right, we're gonna do our first backup. Chris is gonna practice putting her in, putting her in her spot. Yeah, and this looks like it's actually like three spots that are open. So I have a really big window here. Again, this is why we got that automatic slider so we don't have to worry about it with her backing up. And we gotta get our backup camera ASAP. No worries with that RV hitting the front cab. Just love that. Yeah, now that she's clear, I'm moving to the driver's side mirror so she can see me. You're right in the middle of the spot, so you're good. She can see me, I can see her. Looking good, looking good. Okay, very nice. Not, not too bad, huh? Yes. I'm excited to actually have a real reverse camera. Yes. But until then, at least I have like that way you got the feel for what it feels like to back up a fifth wheel because it's a little bit different a little than, bit a different than a travel trailer. Okay, perfect. I think we're ready to get on the road and get to our home spot. I do too. Let's go. So we have our very first right hand turn coming up. It is so interesting to see this big fifth wheel behind us turn as we go. But this is our first uh, big right hand turn. And yeah. I, think, I think you're pretty confident now after the parking lot. Oh yeah. You know, I really feel quite confident about the driving. I'm still mostly just worried about that very first back end at the campsite because it's full of trees. So, are you do? Are you are you going right, babe? Yeah, I think we got honked at in the truckers club. First right turn, easy. <laughs> it, was the, it was that trucker that was 
at that light too. Anyway, that first right turn was easy breezy. It feels really good to drive. I think that was a friendly honk that he gave me. Yeah, first railroad tracks, those were smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's very smooth. And even the width of the fifth wheel doesn't feel terribly wide. Like we knew that it was gonna be a wider carry and it feels pretty good. Yeah, actually I haven't really looked in the mirror that much. So not too bad. Yeah, it's probably the height that's gonna be the biggest. It's really not much different from the travel trailer mm -hmm. in terms of length. All right, four minutes to our campsite. That was a very smooth and wonderful 30 minute drive, Chris. What do you feel? I feel like awesome. It, felt, it drives very smooth, very strong. It feels like it's very straight and secure and there's no, there's no bad feelings on anything. Yeah, so, I think we can definitely feel the independent suspension as a smoother style of suspension over a traditional leaf spring suspension. For sure. When we were going over those bumps, I felt the bump really hard in the truck itself, but then when the fifth wheel went over it, it was super smooth and so much smoother than what our travel trailer would have felt like. Mm -hmm. That's tight. Can you see that? Up top there? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it's tight. Hitting trees on both sides. Okay. Getting pinstripes down the side of the RV already. First drive. All right, so already the height is crazy. Like we've hit, or, you know, slightly drug on three or four tree branches, like and there's nothing you could do about it. Like no. it, it was, we were hitting them on both sides. So uh, that's something obviously like it just is what it is. But even these half a million dollar Integras probably hit the same trees. Right. They're probably pretty worn down. <laughs> Are you ready for our first park? Yep. Okay. Okay, calling Chris now. Okay, so site C31. Yeah, so the white pole is your left marker, and then you'll have a tree over on this side that I'll uh, swing you to. There's one low hanging branch that I want to watch out for. So, actually, try to get your truck even straight. Can you pull straight so the truck and trailer are straight? There you go. Yeah, so now it's going to be easier. There you go. Now you're going to be able to turn that RV a lot easier. I'm gonna get up and get that tree branch really quick. I think I'm gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, that branch was going to give us our first big old gouge right down the side. Love that slider hitch so far. Looking good. Yeah, keep cutting driver if you can. You're looking good. I can run up front if you need me to look at something too, quick. Okay, you're basically going to be clear of the tree right now. See, we have no idea if we would be able to make a turn like this without a slider. You can see we're slid back a good I don't know, eight, 10 inches. All right, yeah, that was, that was really good. Great job backing up. And uh, this is 
it feels so much bigger. Do you think we would have parked our travel trailer in like six seconds? Um, yeah, I think there would have been less back and forth. Um, this was a, this was a kind of a tight spot just because of the poles and the Allegra right there. So it was a harsh turn in. And I think that we did really, really well for it being our first time. I think that our communication was spot on. I gotta go to the bathroom. I think I heard you say you do too. Okay, this is taking us so long we have to take a potty break. <laughs> Am I shutting it down?